we're all doing well. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be talking about how I lost 20 pounds in one month. And this is not clickbait. This actually happened. So a little backstory. If you guys have been here a while, you kind of know what's going on. But if you're new here, my name's Kaylee and I was pregnant with twins. And so they're here now, they're eight months and I gained a good amount of weight with those twins. They were die-die, which means there were two placentas, two sacs, so the babies had their own little area in the womb and they both grew super, super well. So baby A, Echo, was seven pounds when she was born and baby B, Cove, was at six pounds, six ounces. I gained around 75 to 80 pounds when I was pregnant and then lost about 50 and then gained a little bit back because I was super sick and wasn't really working out. So it's just been kind of like a crazy weight loss journey. I have posted before kind of what my body looks like but today I'm just going to be talking about the keto diet and what I eat in a day and how I lost all the weight so, so quickly. I started January 1st. I know that it's actually February 22nd, 2022, which is a really cool day, but uh, that's beside the point. So I'm a little bit late filming this video, but within that first month, I lost 20 pounds and I'm continuing to lose. So I want to show you guys what I eat in the day. I'm on keto, but I also just kind of want to talk about keto, but quick disclaimer, I am not a dietitian, not here to tell you what to do. I'm not an expert in keto. Um, this is just what works for me. You can totally give it a try. Um, keto is a little bit intense. So if you have any like health risks, make sure to contact your doctor before you start on keto. I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys about what keto is really quick. So what is keto? I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. It's a diet. Um, it is a high fat, adequate protein, low carb diet. So high fats, healthy fats, which are avocados, salmon, eggs, nuts, olive oil, adequate protein, which are your chicken, your turkey, things like that, and then low carbs. So cutting out breads, the pastas, 70 to 80% of your calories for that day are of fats. And then 10 to 20% are protein and five to 10% are carbs. So my limit of calories is 1,650 per day. And I usually eat way less than that. I usually eat around 1,400. I usually don't hit 1,650. That's just my limit for, for calories. And of that limit, 100 grams are protein. So 100 grams of protein I can eat. The fats are 130 grams is what I can have. And then I have only allowed myself to have 20 grams of carbs per day, which is 5% of my calories. And what normal everyday people eat are around 225 to 350 grams of carbs, whereas I'm just eating 20. So it's a huge, huge gap. How keto works is it restricts your dietary carbs. So you're eating less carbs which is the body's main source of energy. So instead of getting those carbs, your body breaks down stored fat. And from that, it creates ketones to use as energy instead of the carbs. So you're burning fat and using ketones as your energy. And that is what puts you into ketosis. And it's just your body's metabolic state. So what ketosis is, is when your body does not have enough glucose for energy, which is from your carbs, it burns stored fat instead. So you're literally just burning fat just constantly when you're in ketosis. Once you are in ketosis, if you cheat, go over your carbs, anything, your body is out of ketosis. To get into that state, you can go through something called the keto flu, which is just how it sounds. It's the flu, flu-like symptoms that you can experience when your body's trying to kick into ketosis. When I started, I had one day of the keto flu and I just had a migraine, which I'm prone to migraines. So I think it hit me where I was the weakest. I had a migraine um, and after that I was done. So sometimes it doesn't affect you, sometimes it does. But once you're in ketosis, your body is more energized and 
you feel fuller faster. So there's a lot of benefits, but to get into it is kind of hard. And then to stay in it is also hard. You have to be very determined to stay on keto because if you cheat, you're out of ketosis. So if you eat over the amount of carbs that you should be eating, then your body will go out of ketosis and then you'll have to restart the process again, which is not fun. So it's kind of one of those diets where you just have to be so determined and really, really want it because if you do not want it and you cheat, then it's just kind of like, well, shoot. I started keto January 1st. And then by February 1st, I had lost 20 pounds. You lose so much in those first couple weeks. And then it gradually slows down to about two to like one to two pounds a week. You can definitely do this if you're vegetarian. I'm positive you can do this as vegan as well, but I do eat meat, but I do substitute a few things. Also, I'm allergic to a few things. I'm allergic to nuts, so I can't get protein from nuts. So that's kind of frustrating, but whatever. So there's definitely a lot of ways to do keto if you're vegetarian, gluten-free, vegan, all of that. So that is really, really cool. So it kind of works for everybody's preferences. That is kind of the basis of keto. Hopefully I explained it well enough. Again, I'm no expert. I'm no dietitian or nutritionist. I'm not here to give you advice. I'm just here to tell you what has worked for me and maybe it can work for you. So that is the background of keto, about my story. And now I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what I go through through a day of keto. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat for breakfast. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, here is what I eat every day for breakfast. So I have this protein shake that is flavored like a mo mocha latte, but it also has coffee in it. So if you're not a coffee drinker, there are a bunch of keto-friendly protein shakes that you can have, and it is only four net carbs, one gram of sugar, and 15 grams of protein, which is awesome. And then I also love this cookie. It's the Double Chocolate Chip Quest cookie, and it is super soft and chewy, like it says. This one only has five grams of carbs, less than one gram of sugar, and again, 15 grams of protein. So just right here is 30 grams of protein, which I normally eat 100. So out of that, that is like a big meal just with these two and they fill me up pretty quickly here is what the shake looks like it is so so creamy and so delicious at how yummy and soft this cookie is oh it is so soft so good so chocolatey i love it so much and paired with my mocha latte i like look forward to this every day seriously this is like my favorite meal of all my keto meals is my breakfast it is almost 2 p.m and i'm pretty hungry so i'm gonna show you guys what i sometimes will do for lunch lunch is usually kind of like different um every day just because sometimes i'm not home for lunch or like i'm just not like feeling as hungry today i am pretty hungry so i'm gonna make a good lunch i'm just gonna kind of show you guys what I do, here is what I'm having for lunch. I'm gonna have two slices of this keto bread that has two uh, carbs per slice, which is awesome. I'm gonna have some provolone cheese, gonna make a panini out of that and have some chips. Okay, here is my sandwich. We're gonna panini it. So I don't get a ton of cheese just because I'm having a lot of protein already today and cheese has usually has no carbs in it. I don't know a cheese that has carbs in it, but most cheese does not have carbs. Um, if not all cheese, I'm not sure, but um, it has protein. So if you go over protein, then your body can make glucose, which we're trying to avoid that excess glucose from the carbs. So I can only have one slice of cheese, but I'd rather have two slices of bread. So we're gonna do that, let that cook for a second and then I'll have it with my chips and my Mountain Dew. And then I always like leave a little bit, like a few carbs just in case I like get hungry later. So I don't wanna do a whole lot just because I wanna make sure that I get enough today. So yummy. I have my chips and my sandwich. 
these are the quest like nacho cheese chips that are so good they have 19 grams of protein which is amazing and four carbs and try our little panini really like this carbo not bread better than any other keto bread that i've tried because other keto bread like some that i've had from walmart it tastes like a saltine cracker and i don't like that it's like too crackery and not like bready texture like a bread soft texture this is definitely the best bread that i've tried and so i really like it what's nice about keto is you can find things that you really like like chips or if you like bread if you like cookies you can find things like that that are keto friendly i will show you guys what i do for dinner it takes a little bit of prep but i'll show you guys what i do a little bit later okay it's a couple hours later it is 6 15 p.m i'm in a different set of clothes because we're doing our night routine with our twins and it just gets so crazy so i wanted to show you guys what i normally have for dinner on keto not super appetizing i know I usually make this during their second nap and it's just olive oil salt and pepper oregano and garlic powder and then just cut up chicken breast i let it marinate you usually do like 30 minutes but it ends up being a couple hours which the longer the better sometimes and then i put i like a line a cookie sheet with tin foil and cook it for like 25 minutes it's not the most amazing thing ever. I grew up Greek, so I love Greek chicken souvlaki. So that's like kind of what I make without like the lemon and the garlic, just because they have carbs. So it's just kind of my own version. It's not the most amazing, yummy thing ever. I don't like highly recommend it. Whenever I make it, it comes out really dry, but I like it because I broil it. And so that outside kind of gets crispy. So it feels like I'm eating some chicken nuggets, but they're super dry. So let me know if you guys have any tips, if your cook's out there, how I can kind of like make the chicken not as dry. But this is normally what I do. It's super easy. And then that's all I have for dinner. So I'll show you guys when it is all done. Here's what it looks like when it is all done. And it's like nice and crispy. I really like it, but there are way more keto recipes out there. And truthfully, I'm just way too lazy to try them because this is super easy for me to make and it takes like two seconds and then you just cook it. So there are probably way more recipes that are yummier than this, but this works. Anyway, look at how yummy. Probably doesn't look that good, but it is good. Trust me. I'm going to hurry and eat this and then I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Well, it's a couple hours later. We just put the babies down for bed. So I'm going to end the video right here. That is normally what I have in a day on keto. I wish that there were more things that I could show, but normally that is what it looks like, especially breakfast and dinner. That is always it. Lunch is usually the one that varies a whole lot, but I am positive if you want to try keto, you can definitely find stuff that suits you anyway i hope you guys all enjoyed this video i am still going strong on keto i'm going to continue to do it um until i reach my goal so i still have a good amount to lose right now if you're interested in a little bit more about my weight loss journey and how it's going then let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about keto or just any questions at all, just let me know. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I hope you all subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified every time I post. Give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.